a science teacher from Dietrich has found himself in the middle of a controversy after, get this, saying vagina during a 10th grade sex ed class. Tim McDaniel is accused of teaching sexually explicit material, seriously, in class describing, quote, inappropriate forms of birth control, making inappropriate jokes, and showing a video depicting STDs. A small group of parents complained to the Idaho State Department of Education, who launched an official investigation to look into the matter. According to magicvalley.com, parents objected to McDaniel's use of the word vagina while describing human reproduction. At a school board meeting, parent Katie Norman demanded that the school give prior warning so she could excuse her child from class. Joining me now to discuss the investigation and the class that got him into trouble is Tim McDaniel. Welcome to HuffPost Live. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Appreciate it. So, you know, what do you make of all of this and how do you respond to all of the uh, or uh, all of the outrage and, and also people coming to your defense? Well, you know, my town where I live, the people have been really fantastic in supporting me. Uh, and what happened was there was like three or four ladies who thought that uh, I think they thought they could get rid of me. <laughs> and they used this as a case to get rid of me, I think, but I'm not sure. But anyway, what I been doing is teaching the same thing for the last 17 years here at Dietrich and I've never had a complaint about it never and I've had kids that opted not to be in the class before and as a matter of fact they said well if you just don't call on me to answer some questions I'd be okay and, and that's what we've done tell me a little bit more about exactly what you teach in the class I mean it seems pretty normal to say the word vagina in a sex ed class it does and what I do is I actually teach the reproductive system in the science class and what I do is I go over things such as endometriosis, I go over prostate cancer, and I always tell the kids if when you get married, you need to know where the prostate's at. And again, I just want to reiterate, it's not necessarily a sex ed class, but it's a science class in which you are teaching sexual reproduction. Who are the people that have come to your support sort of saying, this is what you talk about in a science class? You know, I've had a lot of my former students call me and and I actually post on the Facebook and everything that they appreciated the way I've taught and that they want me to keep on teaching the way I do. And I've had one girl that uh, put a, a Facebook on and she told me that uh, she ended up going into education because of me and she said, please don't change. And she told me if I needed to get away, she's got a cute little baby for me to come and play with. <laughs> so it was kind of neat. But, you know, the, the controversy is just unreal because I don't think this should be a controversy at all in any school, anywhere. And that's the reason why I'm holding to my guns. And tell me a little bit more about why you teach this class and you decide specifically to teach this unit within the class. Okay, once again, I teach all the sciences at the school I'm at. And this is a biology class I have one section of that I teach every year. And what I do is I, the health teacher just not teach this because he's so uncomfortable with it and he always said, tell his students well mr mcdaniel will touch on that and and it's straight out of the biology book anyway but what i do is i try to inform the kids of things that can happen to their bodies while they're trying to go through life like i said if they have problems with uh like prostate cancer the kids know where the prostate's at if they have problems with ovarian cancer they know what the ovaries are and you know i just try to go through and i even talked about the multiple bursts that's happening now because of the fertility drugs out there. And you know, it's important. And and all the time, anytime I talk about it, I always talk about abstinence is always the best cure for everything. And when when we did the STDs, I had them do an STD report. And the where they got the picture of the vagina thing was I had a girl who did a PowerPoint for me. And what she did was she had a picture of of a person's mouth with their tongue sticking out. And that's what they portrayed, I guess, as the vagina. And yes, I did talk about the vagina and I explained that an orgasm is muscle myotonia where it's the relax of the muscles. You know, how do you feel uh, emotionally speaking, personally speaking about all of this? You know, you're a longtime teacher and, uh, you know, this, this can't be something that's easy to take. It's not. I've become very emotional. And as a matter of fact, when I got the letter from the state, my wife thought I was going to have a nervous breakdown. We were... We went to visit her mother, who's 72 and has dementia, and she was having a horrible time with that. And then I got this letter, and it was horrible, and I was in tears all day. She called my son and asked him to come and take me to his house and to try to calm me down. But it's not been fun. It's been upsetting to me because I've done nothing wrong.
Uh, and I, I do want to reiterate, there's a Facebook page, Save the Science Teacher, uh, on Facebook, uh, and uh, we'll throw that into the resource well as well. Uh, sir, thank you so much for joining, and uh, please do keep us posted with uh, what ends up happening. Yes, and I really appreciate you having me on, on the air, and thank you. If there's anything I can answer, just please feel free to call me.